Tonight on Live 5 Family is mourning the loss of a friend and former co-worker, Keith Nichols, lost his battle with cancer yesterday morning. Right now, Bill Burr looks back on his long broadcasting career with the people who knew Keith best. Might as well get both because sure as we don't do them, we're going to find a situation where we need them. When it came to the weather, Keith Nichols was always in the middle of the storm. Boy, this, this storm does not look good for people in Florida at all. His work behind the scenes and on the air helped Live 5 prepare for Mother Nature's worst. All right, that's where it is right now. While warning viewers without the hype. You want to make sure that you're putting the information out there so people can make their plans, get preparations, but at the same time, you, you can't panic. Chief Meteorologist Bill Walsh forecast the weather with Keith for more than 16 years. He worked, you know, those early, early mornings, and I worked the nights, and we worked, you know, almost opposite each other, but during the severe weather event, it was one collaborative team effort. And, uh, and in fact, Keith and I were the first to really do that in the marketplace, to do team weather coverage. But weather wasn't Keith's only TV trademark. Once again, the You Gotta Eat crew has discovered another place that not only incorporates fine dining, pizza as well. We're down on Highway 162, and You Gotta Eat, once again, goes Hollywood. A love of low country food took Keith inside local kitchens and cafes for a taste of down home cooking. Tonight on You Gotta Eat, we travel to the far southern reaches of Colladon County. His You Gotta Eat reports gave viewers a taste of culinary classics. But Keith's career spanned more than a dinner table. Four tops at the Big 12.50. And ain't no woman like the one I got. WTMA time is 12.15. His broadcasting roots were in radio, and he honed his skills at WTMA. I was the clown, and uh, he was the professional. And I really looked up to him. Legendary radio personality Booby Nash worked with Keith in the 1970s. The two things I remember is he was multi-talented, he could do anything he was called to do, and number two, he was a loyal, close friend. WTMA, Charleston, South Carolina, it's 1229. Good morning, I'm Keith Nichols, WTMA News. Keith's signature skill was his deep, authoritative voice. Charleston radio historian John Quincy researched Keith for the radio station's tribute website, WTMAMemories.com. WTMA's DJs were the stars of the low country. They were as big, if not bigger, than the people on TV at the time. And I would say Keith Nichols was one of those big stars. And his star shined at Live 5, especially during the annual Jerry Lewis MDA Telethon, where he would choke up talking about the patients he was trying to help. How can you sit there and not do something? That's what I ask myself every year before I start this. Keith Nichols brought passion and professionalism to his craft, sharing his talents with the Lowcountry for more than 30 years. Well, Keith Nichols was 57. He leaves behind his wife, Beth, and his daughter, Kristen. Our thoughts go out to them tonight. Mm -hmm. It's a tough night for those folks, but you know, Keith gave a lot to this television station. And Scott Guerin, by the way, who, who edited that piece, mm -hmm. and Bill Burr did a wonderful job. S Keith was the guy who was always in control under pressure, and I always remember during Hurricane Floyd when a ferret got loose in the storm mm -hmm. center. A ferret? <laughs> a ferret. And Keith was, I, I was like, Keith was, I know what it is. <laughs> we'll keep right on going. Calm down, we'll be fine. We're moving on. And Andy. it was under the thing looking at us. It was, it was you know, the guy was amazing. It was great to work yeah, together. And you was. remember he, his I Gotta Eat. You Gotta Eat. I loved eats. I Gotta Eat. And he gave me a hard time once because I was working with the um, Women Build Habitat for Humanity. And he saw my report on TV and he was like, Ann, you hammer like a girl. Come over <laughs> here and let me show you how to handle that thing so you can do it the right way. He had this dry sense of humor. Very, very and, uh, yeah. And what a voice. What a golden throated voice. Memorials in Keith's honor can be made to either South Carolina via De Cristo or the Lutheran Church of the Redeemer. That's at 714 Riverdale Drive in Charleston.